What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Zee Baby with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about TikTok being banned. So, basically, the way I feel about it is, is that banning TikTok is the wrong move right now. Especially with the president's election coming up, this is not the time to be banning TikTok. And I feel like it's the wrong thing to do. And, like, why are you trying to ban TikTok if you were trying to get reelected? Like, that's my whole thing. Like, are you really trying to do that when you just exit the door? And, you know, like, I just think like that. But let's get into this video. So, yeah. So this are my thoughts on them banning the app for TikTok. And I'm just going to give this video about five talking points on why I feel like the ban should not be banned for TikTok. TikTok should not have a ban. Number one is freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Like, freedom of speech. Is anyone paying attention to the amendments? Freedom of speech. TikTok gives people freedom of speech. They do not go and flag your video because you talk about something crazy. So I feel like if we're going to be doing that, people really need to start waking up. Like, they really need to start waking up. It's not fair that all of us have to be silenced on something like for what and why. Like, nobody is... um super young anymore. Millennials are between in their late 20s and um, early 30s and late 30s. Like we're not stupid anymore. We know what's going on. That's all I got to say about that. Number two, if they ban TikTok, it will affect small businesses. And I, myself, that is going to become a business owner, it would affect a small business owner. Hmm, that's funny. So, the way I look at it is, y'all don't want the younger generation to become wealthy. Y'all want us to continue to work these jobs that don't pay no money. And then insult to injury, is Social Security going to be here when I get 65? I don't think so. So the way I feel, the way I think about it is, is that it's not fair. Why something that was so great, and the reason why I say it's great because YouTube Shorts took the same model what TikTok was doing and put it on there. Why is TikTok even being bothered? If anything, y'all should be thanking them because before. TikTok came, everyone was just watching long form content. And I understand, you know, like their security and kids. I'm not saying that's not important, but if the kids are so important, then take the kids off the freaking app. Age restricted to the point where it's 18 and above. No one that can't have a bank account, credit card, doesn't go to work, should not be accessed to TikTok. And that considers children. So if that's the big issue, why can't you just say age-stricted? But they don't want to do that because they want to control everything. And by the way, the person that is the CEO of TikTok is not having it. He's not agreeing. He's not trying to take the money. He knows how much it's worth. When YouTube first started, I believe there was two kids. I forgot who did it. They were young. And someone bought them and they bought YouTube. Look at YouTube now. Only if they had held on to their app, they would have been millionaires or billionaires. See, the thing is, when something is great, the only thing that I don't like about the USA is that when something's great and you see it gaining competition, why is it a security threat? That's my whole thing. Why is it a security threat if it's that much of a competition? Because half of millennials and myself are on TikTok most of the time, not watching regular television. That's what it is. It has nothing to do about security. It has all to do about business. It has all to do about money. It has all to do about people watching ads on regular television, which I don't really care about that I spent um, almost like $500 on a 42 inch television that I rarely watch. It's just like, I don't got time for that. And at the end of the day, why is it so much hate towards TikTok? Why do people in this 
in the U.S. are so hateful to people that are, what is it, immigrants? I can't, I don't know if it's immigrants. But the point that I'm saying is someone that is a different race, now all of a sudden it's a issue. But last time I checked, don't we get most of our stuff from China? The shirt that I'm wearing, someone in China made it. Um, down to my iWatch, wasn't it made from China? What about this cell phone that I'm recording my video? Wasn't it made from China? What about the food? What about um, some of the products and goods that are transferred back through for China, but now all of a sudden TikTok is a threat? Man, that's a joke. At the end of the day, this world that we live in, especially the USA, does not really care about what we got to say. And that's on period. They don't care what we have to say. And it's not fair. Like, I just started enjoying TikTok and now all of a sudden it's supposed to be getting removed. I'm just like, come on. Like, how, we, we, what are we doing here? Like, why isn't the real issues on us inflation, about groceries, about people working and not meeting the medium income to get a home. Why aren't those being concerned? Why is they worried about someone being on a freaking app? It doesn't make any sense. And at the end of the day, it's not fair. It's not fair. I work hard. Do you understand me? I work two freaking jobs every single day and still have time to post on my social media. So with that being said, it is not fair to go and take something from someone where we could get out of this whole debt situation. And then they got insult to injury by the summertime to start paying back student loans. Well, how am I going to do that if I can't start my business and put it on TikTok? I can put it on my YouTube channel, but I don't get as much as views as I do like that if I'm not on TikTok. And also, I mean, I get views on my YouTube shows, but my main page, people aren't watching it like that. And in order for me to get the amount of views, it would have to be on a different social media platform. I even had the audacity to try to post on Facebook and to see if I got any views, couldn't get one view to come through. Cause ain't nobody watching that, that's whack. Nobody cares about Mark Zuckerberg. The only people that are doing that, they're probably bringing people from their other platform to go over there to just pay them $17,000 to, I mean, I think it's $36,000. So this is some tea. You can go on Facebook and get a following. If you can get your following to go on Facebook, they will pay you $36,000 a month because that's how desperate they are because nobody is paying attention to Facebook. They just aren't. And I wouldn't either. Facebook is something that came out when I was in my 20s and I am in my 30s. So why would I even pay any attention to Facebook? It is whack sauce, okay? It's not, I don't, I don't know. It's not popping over there. I, I don't, I'm not, I don't really like that area. Um, the next competitor um, would be Instagram, which is controlled by Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. He has that, which I got kicked out of my account for no apparent reason at all because I simply posted my Louis Vuitton bag and someone was hating and they reported my page and then I'm locked out of my Instagram account. So am I really feeling Instagram? No, I'm not. The only place that I really feel safe at is YouTube, which I've been working on um, uh, what decade to get a following and it's just like why do y'all want to go and bother what the young people are doing you are upset because we're not watching what you guys are putting out anymore because we're getting smarter and on top of it TikTok is educational like I stated before small businesses are over there like I stated before and it's freedom over there it's love over there ceo comes on the page or tiktok that you scroll if you scroll banning tiktok he goes and talks to you and says hey how many creators have done that for other platforms i don't think any they haven't done it and at the end of the day we gotta wake up because what's next what's next if they take tiktok away what if they take Twitter away? Are people gonna be outraged about that? 
What if they take Instagram away? Are people going to be outraged about that? What if they take YouTube away? Are people going to um, get outraged about that? Are people going to be putting up their posters for that? Yes, they will be. So it's just like any uh, like it starts with TikTok. You don't know if Twitter be Twitter Twittery Twitter will be gone. Anything you just put the example out there the first time, and then you'll see a reoccurrence. Oh, they were okay with us taking that away. We'll take something else away, and then we'll take this away, and then they'll take everything away, and then we won't have anything. And they want us to be back there. I, I swear to God, if it even comes to all of that, it's going to be a problem because I am not going to be supporting Instagram. Instagram has showed me the worst type of kind I could be. I was minding my business on Instagram and in my account, I got locked out of my account and didn't do anything because I posted a freaking Louis bag. Are you kidding me? Someone, one of my followers, so-called AKA hating friends decided to go up there and report me and then I get locked out of my account. TikTok does not do that. So, you know, I just feel like it's gonna be a bittersweet moment or whatever. They're already posting videos saying that, in fact, you know, they're moving forward to get it banned and it's not fair. It's not fair to us millennials. We're trying our hardest ways to get out of debt so we can pay our student loans back, so we can try to have affordable housing. Right now, to tell y'all some real stuff right now, the reason why I continue to do my videos on YouTube and I continue to do other things is because I want to be able to help my mom, even though I moved out. I want to be able to help my mom. My mom is... 66 years old, still trying to look for another job right now. And it's hard for her. And then they talk about snatching social security from seniors. And I moved out of my mom's house. You know how, how hurt I am right now. So I was planning to get my ducks in order so I could launch my business on TikTok to help my family. You see how that's a chain effect to anybody that would have a small business or had anything educational or had a following of even some people up there have a million on there. What if they're selling a product? What if, that, what if that's their only source of income to support themselves? How are they gonna get their bills paid? But people worried about uh, security and kids being like people are corrupting the kids left and right left and right so don't tell me that bad and tiktok is gonna be something good because it's not and i don't see anything good about it but i hope you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get a video every time i upload but y'all it just makes me so upset and i only got 300 people Follow me on TikTok, so it is what it is. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.